What is going on YouTube and welcome to Minecraft. Yes, I played Minecraft for a hundred days and I have not played Minecraft in a long time, probably about five years now. So a lot has changed. I am getting used to what has changed, but let's get started. Day number one, we are going to punch a tree. That's how it goes, isn't it? So yes, we start punching trees like a good old Minecrafter noob that we are. Because, yes, it's been a very long time. And you will see by the stupid things that I do in this video that I, I shouldn't, I should really improve upon. <laughs> and I do later on in the video. You'll see how much of a better Minecraft player I actually become. So, yes, we're just starting off with some basic tools. Because this is day one, we need some wooden tools. Wooden tools, the worst tools in Minecraft. But, yes, I did not realise you could just pull out the craft book at the side there and click things like with one click to craft them rather than actually making the patterns. But remember, it's been very long. I, I, I forget about these things. It's It's been way too long. But yes, I will improve. Just bear with me. It is day one. It's day one. So anyway, on with day one. We went off to explore to find somewhere nice to set up base and got distracted by a little doggo that chased us behind. And then bees! Yeah, I completely forgot Minecraft had added bees, so I decided to give them a little follow, which led me to a sheep. And yes, we need lots of sheep because, you know, beds. So I'm sorry, sheep, you were going to have to sacrifice yourself for the sake of a comfortable night's sleep. And yeah, the cute little honey... Honey hive? A beehive? <laughs> Not a honey hive. I wish I could get the honey from it, but I don't know how, so I, I just left that alone. Next, we went after some pigs, and we did not just totally slaughter a whole field of animals. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. All this meat just came from the shop, the local Minecraft shop. Nothing to do with the animal cruelty that I just committed. So, yeah. Forget about that. Right, on with the show. And... Leave that chicken alone, please. I found some sugar cane, so I decided to plant it along this little beach because there's a nether portal here, so I thought this would be a pretty good location to set up a base because when we need the nether portal, it's already here half built for us, so we don't have to grab as much obsidian because I remember that it used to be a chore digging obsidian. Probably still is, but yeah. And then we found our first cave, so I thought we'd just go down, explore, and pick up some valuable resources. Because we need some iron, because these tools are seriously doing me head in, and there's some iron down there. So yes, I start digging my way and realise how frustrated I am at the speed of this pickaxe. So yeah, let's get some um, let's get some stone tools, shall we? Uh, where's the stone? There it is. You found it. Well done, Rob. Very nice of you. So there we go, we get ourselves an upgrade and do the honourable thing with our pickaxe and get rid of it because that's how much it tortured me. <laughs> and then we encountered our first mob, yes, a zombie villager. I probably should have not killed this guy but meh, it's day one, we've got plenty of time to do things. <laughs> So we were just setting up shop down here in this little cave for a little while and I decided we might as well make a bed now. So I grabbed all the stuff, made ourselves a little bed and just put it in the corner and we'll just camp in this little cave for our first night and that is the end of day one. Right, so I packed up everything that I had in my little cave and went on my merry way to get to the surface hopefully. Not before being rudely interrupted by a flying zombie. So we made, you know, quick work of him, got rid of him, and headed up to the surface via this handy dandy little ravine, stream, river. What would you call it? A ravine? I think it's a ravine, isn't it? And look at that. What a beautiful place to pop your little head up. So then I decided to check out them big caves over there and see if I could pick up some resources, which was pretty handy actually. I got quite a bit of onion and coal from this little cave. Well, I wouldn't really call it a little cave. It was quite big after a while. Uh, that's what she said. Right, so yes, and we were still using terrible tools. 
But anyway, I came around the corner and seen how deep this thing actually goes. It is absolutely brilliant, this. For a spawn location, it has pretty much got everything we need for straight away. And I kind of got lost in these sun rays at this point. With these shaders on, Minecraft looks absolutely insane. And I love it. And that's what made us want to come back to it. But yeah, I was just taking in the sights when I realised I'm getting shot. So I was trying to find the thing, and there we are. And I stupidly thought that I'd be able to take him and a zombie at the same time without anything to protect myself but gold armor that I found in... Yeah. It didn't end well, but that's our first death. Day 2. Is it that bad? Yeah, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Day 2 and dying already. But anyway, we'll go back for our stuff, gather up everything... As it was all over the place and even further down the cliff. So yeah, I had to go down anyway and do some mining since my stuff was already down there. So I went down, gathered some stuff and I found that, that creepy little skeleton that decided to murder me. So, you know, this time we just got to punch him to death to show how angry we are for us getting killed by him. And somehow it worked. But yeah, <laughs> we've got to have some bones now in a full inventory. But let's get rid of this creepy little spider that keeps squeaking in the corner as well. You know, because we're, we're strong now. We defeated a skeleton and I think we're invincible. Pretty much. So I continued getting some stuff and then I climbed to the top of the hill and I realised there was a village just over the other side of the hill. So... I dropped down in the best fashion, in the best way fashion, what, best way fashionable? What is going on with my English? But anyway, we found this little village. And I forgot what villages actually had in them. Uh, I think a lot has changed. So I didn't really know what to look for or anything. I was just looking for chests and hiding things. So it was a bit weird, this village, how it's like on multi-levels because of the way it's generated. And then I started getting attacked by this little absolute terror. Like, just go away, leave me alone. I'm just trying to find things to survive. Thank you very much. And then another one came out. Like, what's the chances of having two of these little buggers in the, in the space of five minutes? And yeah, I thought I could still take them on. But, you know, I'm not very good at FPS games. And... You can tell. So anyway, we'll go back for our stuff. And yes, I did nearly die again because that little bugger tried it on one more time, even though I had nothing to give him. So, you know. Oh, and yes, I got an arrow to the head. But we'll not talk about that. It was it was a rough experience of going back to get our stuff. Let's just say that. So just sorting out my inventory here because it's an absolute mess. Look at the state of this stuff. But as you can see, we got quite a few resources from that cave. We didn't do too bad. But we're still stuck with a wooden sword because I haven't smelted anything yet. So, yeah. And I did want to get them furnaces back. Even though cobblestone is like the, the easiest material to find, I, I just really wanted to keep them furnaces. So I was just looking for a bed here so we can sleep the night before getting attacked by any more little cretins. Um... Yeah, and I discovered the stone cutter, and I was like, "Ah, oh, this, this is pretty cool. I, I don't want any stairs, but that's pretty cool. We'll, we'll take it. I'll have it. Yeah." And before I knew it, I didn't even need to sleep in a bed because he would go. If we just go outside, it is already day three. So yeah, there we go, day three. Here we come. So yeah, I took all that I could from this village and then I headed out for our location where we were going to build a little base. And I found a perfect spot on top of the hill, not far from the nether pole and the village. And also next to some lava, which will come in handy later, I figured. So I thought it would flatten out the area a little bit. So I began spending this whole day, pretty much, levelling the terrain with a very slow wooden spoon <laughs> that is what how slow it feels like a wooden spoon and then i realized you can create paths with a shovel which 
that seems pretty cool. And yeah, I just I took them out because they looked weird. And figured, right, we need to get some more better tools here because I'm not clearing out this land with a wooden shovel. That is absolutely absurd. So let's get some crafting stuff going. So I put in some copper. I don't really need the copper. So I put in some iron and we got ourselves an iron shovel. Look at that. Things are going by very fast now. The deers do start getting a little bit shorter because I'm cramming a lot more into the deers. And there we go. We have cleared quite a bit of the land. Um, just running and picking everything up. I did spend quite most of the day digging off this land and smelting some iron and food for ourselves. Which also gives us some very nice XP. So yeah, another good thing about this area for building my base was there was lots of animals around. Lots of trees around. So yeah, it seemed very good. And there's me trying to figure out how to build a chest again. I still haven't figured out just opened up that menu to the side. But uh, trust us, I do get there eventually. We'll just chuck all this crap in. And yes... I do also organise this later on. I, I'm just, just bear with me, bear with me. Still a noob, still a noob. It's been a while. So and then I spent the rest of the day just going along and destroying some grass to get some wheat seeds because the next step, I did want to set up a farm. So I did start building an infinity pool so we can easily set up the farm without having to run backwards and forwards to a water source, which. Uh, it is easy, it's just two corners. I don't know. Yeah, right, listen. I put in four buckets of water here, right? Because the shader confused me. That's what I'm going to say. I know you only have to do two corners, but um, the shader, I'm going to imagine. So I, would, I wasn't allowed to sleep, so I just took in the views, and look at that. I thought, that is a great thumbnail right there. Although I didn't ever use that as the thumbnail you know carry on so there we go the end of day three getting on to day four now and we are starting our farm i wanted to get the farm going so i could have a constant food supply without having to worry about it and this was an ugly mess so we're just going to cover all this up in the worst possible way by just adding floating blocks because that is how I like to do it in Minecraft. Uh, just ignore the fact there's a hole underneath me. I think that's easier, isn't it? If you ignore the hole, it's not there anymore. Look at that. Ignored. Right, so there we go. We'll start filling it up. And we will start planting some sugarcane and some uh, wheat. And yes, I did fill up this very slowly. I could have done it a little bit faster with... You know, noob here, noob. And there we go, the seeds are going in after we've hoed the land and planted our sugarcane as, as well. Right, I also ran out of seeds and realised, yeah, I'm sure I've got some in this chest full of rubbish somewhere. And we did. So, yay! Thank God for the chest full of rubbish, eh? I did this a lot through this playthrough. I, I just opened chests and stared at them. Like, what am I actually looking for? Forgetting what I, I, I'd even went in for. There was always a reason I'd go into the chest. And then I just suddenly forgot, what am I even doing? And yes, I decided to build myself a full set of iron armour. Because why not? We might as well. And once again, I did not realise how long it took me to open that crafting menu. It... That is really stressing me out now I'm editing this video. But we do get there, honestly, at some point. In the near future, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Definitely getting there. And so I wanted to craft some cobbles, smooth cobblestone so we could make some nice looking walls for our house. And also, I realised there was a lot of cows over in this little corner. So I thought, what better than to make a little cow farm where we can get some leather for free and some meat to eat. Because everybody loves some good old beef. So I made a gate and some fence posts to keep the cows in. 
and I'd run out of wood, I realised. So, time to go get some more wood. Oh, there we go. Look at that. How impressed are you right now, right? I figured out how to do the crafting a lot faster. I'm very impressed with myself. That was actually in the same day that I was talking about. Not being able to do it. But yeah, putting some torches on the corners. I figured this is the best way to stop mobs spawning. I know mobs have changed the way they spawn now. They don't spawn in unless it's 0% light or something. But, you know, you'll never be too scared. Too scared. Too careful. And there we go. That is the end of day four. On to day number five. We are getting there slowly but surely. And days do get a little bit faster. So don't worry. I am going to edit this a lot faster. Right, so day five I spent getting the cows in the pen. And also forcing them to breed with each other. Because that's how Minecraft works. And then I spent most of the day collecting gravel and sand because I wanted to make my house out of concrete. I wanted to go for a modern look and that is exactly what I needed, I believe. Because I've never used concrete before as well, so that was an experiment that I wanted to try. So then we're headed back home with all our sand and concrete. Not before skipping past the, what is this called? A is this the tropical biome or something? To pick up some pumpkins and some of the orange wood. Because I do like the look of the orange wood. So I wanted to get some of them trees. And also take a couple of trees back to plant later on. So we can have our own little tree farm. And that was pretty much the end of day five. Now day six... Didn't really do a lot in this day either. We um, started making all the concrete out of the white concrete powder. And I didn't realise an um, efficient way of doing this. I forgot you could put things in your offhand. And again, it's one of them things I didn't realise till later on. I'm sorry, don't scream at me in the comments down below about these things. I'm trying my best, okay? Yeah, and I realised I could have just done, like, eight in one time. But, you know, you live and you learn and you make these mistakes. I did later come up with a bigger, a better idea. So, I, I didn't know how to do my house. I didn't know whether I wanted to have the logs on the edges, on the corners, and then the white concrete throughout, or whether I wanted the white concrete to be the less of the materials, because it is harder to make, because you do need bone to make white concrete, and bone is not a thing that I try to get a lot of in the early stages of Minecraft, because, you know, skeletons are scary. So I did decide to go the opposite way, where concrete is less, where it's more the foundation material, and the wood is the the main attraction sort of thing so yeah we just started getting building with that and i like the way to have the wood sort of like indented into the building itself so there was more detail to it and it does go through some variations <laughs> this building honestly i put a lot of effort into this for not a lot of reward but at the end of day six, here we go with our progress. We have a floor in and we have what looks like the beginnings of a house. Uh, and we also have stairs into the actual room itself. I don't know why I just keep sitting staring at chests before realising I should go and grab that sugar cane because it's grew quite a bit. And I forgot it actually goes one block higher. So I did gather it a little bit early, but never mind. I did realise this was going to get annoying trying to gather it up with this gap. You know, the one that I was ignoring the day before. Um, so, yeah, I just added one extra block onto that. And, yeah, jobs are good in there. We'll not have to deal with that again. And plant that little extra one. Everything's looking good with our pumpkin farm. They're all planted. And that is the end of day six. All right, so day seven, I just... The rest of day seven, I just spent um, gathering sand and creating... <laughs> white concrete it was a very boring day it was a very quick day so yeah we're just going to skip past day seven because i just spent the day doing this fun yeah very fun <laughs> but anyway on to day number eight next 
Yeah, I was trying my best to get that right. Day number eight, I just spent on the house building things, um, laying out the plans and figuring out what I was actually doing with my life. So yeah, that was a good day. Um, yeah, I decided to destroy all of this. This, it was just I was using too much white concrete. I just didn't have enough white concrete. It's too hard to make. So I was I changed my plans a little bit to not include a base line. So yeah, that was pretty much it for day eight. And we added some finishing touches like the glass. We started adding that in to see how that would look. And yeah, I was I was quite liking it. I, I had a vision in my head and we were going for it. So yeah, that is day eight. Let's go to sleep and roll on day number nine. Right, so day number nine, we um, we went ahead and started our mine where we would be creating it underneath a swimming pool that's outside our house. So yeah, we started by digging it up a few bits and we were going to start creating our mine and hide it with a swimming pool where you just go in and there's a little shoot of water to get down into Oh, three wide mine and three wide ended up being a mistake. I did not realize that diamonds are not on Y12 anymore. They are now Y minus 58, which takes a long time to get to. And with the new stone dark deep slate or, or something it is, it takes a lot of time. And yeah, it was getting really stressful. But then... This happened, yeah, I was like, what on earth was that noise? I thought it was just a villager or like a tradesman, and no. It seemed like I was getting attacked, raided or something. I don't know what these are. Like I say, I haven't played this in a long time, and this was all new to me. I was like, what the hell is going on? And my sword broke. What perfect time for your sword to break. And so I decided, get the wooden axe out, let's just kill these guys. And I did not realise killing these guys was a bad thing. I got the achievement, Voluntary Exile, and I got a flag, and then some sort of bad woman on me. Which, I don't know what that does, but I was a little bit worried about it, whether it's going to be... I'm not going to be able to find any resources or anything for the next two hours or so. Or these people are just going to constantly attack me for two hours. So I put the banner down thinking that would do something to stop this happening uh no it didn't so if you do know what this is and if you can explain it to me then please do so i went up cautiously looking for the last guy i think there was only one left at the time and yeah there he is i think we can take him so i got my axe back out and showed this guy who's boss and that was pretty much the end I seen of them, so I just left it. <laughs> so there we go, finishing off our little pool of mine here. We were missing a step, but that was the end of day ten, uh, nine. Sorry. Now on to day ten, and this little guy woke us up drinking some milk next to me bed, which was a bit creepy. I, I do have to say, I don't know why he was doing that. But yeah, our our mine swimming pool is coming on great so we just needed to dig out the middle where we're going to be flowing through and fill it with water and get out my way now i really didn't want to kill the traveling tradesmen because everyone does kill them and i feel sorry for the guys but he did really start getting in my way and yeah uh, one thing led to another and yeah, once you pay off one of the llamas, uh, th you've, there's just no going back. You've just got to, you've just got to wipe them out. That, just get rid of them. And they're annoying. Stop following us around. I don't want to trade with you. You've got rubbish to trade with. I don't know if he gets any better with the stuff he trades, but uh, the minute it's like glowstone, and yeah, nobody wants it. Well, I don't want it. Yeah. Anyway, so there we go. That's our little entrance into our mine. Very secretive and pretty cool. And look at that god ray. That is so cool. But anyway, that was it for day 10. Uh, for the next 15 days or so, I pretty much got lost. Just mining down 
into Y58 and beyond doing a, doing a, what do you call it? What do you call this type of mining? Strip mine? So yeah, this took a lot of time. But then finally, finally, on day 26, diamonds. We finally found diamonds. You can see the excitement as I'm jumping around there, finally finding a diamond. It took a lot of time just to find this one diamond. Even if it was one, I would have been happy. But no, there was more. There was, was it two? I think there was only two. Beggars can't be choosers, though. Yeah, there was only two. Not enough to make a pickaxe, which was pretty devastating at this point. I'd been playing for so long, I was like, oh, no, I can't believe there's only two. Yeah, I dug around it for a little bit, hoping there'd be at least one more to make a pickaxe with. But, you know, because this stuff is so slow to mine. It is incredibly slow to mine. But anyway, that was pretty much for day 26. We just continued mining for the rest of the time. Right, so the next few days sort of turned into a blur. <laughs> um, for day 27 to 40, I just mostly spent breeding cows, mining and gathering some different materials from my strip mine, which all turned into a bit of a blur. I do have to admit, I did lost, lose track of what I was actually doing. I was just playing Minecraft, listening to some music. And we with it. So that is what I gathered so far. It is not a great amount of materials. Have to admit, not the best stuff to be finding. But when you're dealing with iron pickaxes, it is so slow. It is unbelievably slow. So I was starting to become a little bit drained. But then, as we go on to days 41 into 50, we went out hunting skeletons because we do need to start finishing this house. We are running out of the amount of deers in Minecraft to finish this house. So I did want to get started on that. And to do that, I need a lot of bones. So I went out fighting some some mobs. We did almost die quite a few times. And I'm not even ashamed of it. Because, yeah, coming up against two spiders and a skeleton. That's, that's And there's a zombie joins in, you know what? That, that's difficult. That is difficult. And pretty much every mob encounter I try to kill a skeleton would end up like this, where I'm just getting third partied by someone else. <laughs> so yeah, it was um, it was a challenging few nights. I have to say, it was a challenging few nights. But we did get the stuff we needed to make a lot of concrete, so I'm very happy with that. And to go with that meant digging up a lot of sand and a lot of gravel. But the gravel I'd get quite a bit of in my strip mine, so I wasn't really bothered about that. It was just the sand we needed to get quite a bit of. But luckily, we have got quite a sandy area nearby, and also there's a desert not too far away. So we were pretty lucky. So going on to days 51 to 55, we were just working on the house, planning out what we wanted to do. I spent a lot of this time at EFK, just um, looking at images and stuff, figuring out what I wanted to do. But I left the game running so I would smelt some stuff down and uh, just, you know, do some little side things that I didn't need to do. I did get a couple of creeper holes <laughs> as well while I was at EFK. And, so yeah, I was figuring out what I wanted to do with windows. I wanted like a corner window on there, but it just it wasn't working, so I got rid of that. So just skipping ahead here again. Getting some gravel and making some more concrete. And also trying to get up to... This is... I left this in because this was something stupid. This is why it was taking us so long to build this house. Because I, I just kept doing stupid things like that. Thinking that a gap was big enough to jump. And it just was not. <laughs> it was not big enough. I actually died at one point as well. Jumping off the roof. I don't know. I don't know how. It is not that tall. I think I just forgot about my hunger. And I was really low on hearts. Jumped off and died. Yeah. I am an idiot. And this game has really showed us that I am an idiot. But anyway, going back now to days 56 to 67. We are in the strip mine once again trying to find diamonds. And diamonds 
oh my god, it seems like they're so hard to find in this latest version of Minecraft. I don't know about you guys that are watching this, if you're still watching it at this point. Um, but yeah, diamonds seem really hard to find. It's, I, I was really struggling. It took a long time to find diamonds. I even I started digging out around the diamonds to see if there was any more because I was struggling that much. But anyway, there we go. We found our first pickaxe. Anyway, we found our first pickaxe. We made our first pickaxe, should I say. And it was time to get some obsidian to make an enchanting table. Because I did not want to just waste this pickaxe without enchanting it. I did want to enchant it with something. At least efficiency, if I could. Because mining the deep slate is oh, it's an awful program. Aw awful program? Awful process and yeah i did the rookie mistake of not knowing there was lava underneath that when i mined it out so we made ourselves a little mining hole here so if we butt up right next to the ore we should be able to save it from going into the lava anyway and we actually d did it works ice bucket challenge look at that and we can finally make a craft a crafting table oh what is going on with my brain an enchanting table so we needed some books where else to get them from villagers we might as well just uh steal some of these don't mind if i do just uh don't look while i'm doing this I'm not doing anything naughty at all there we go magically we have bookshelves and a uh, enchanting table <laughs> look at that how would you how would you how would you believe that even happened yeah, so I was looking and I didn't really know what to get. I wanted to get Silk Touch or Fortune, one of the Fortunes, but I don't know how to get Fortune. Is it? I don't know if I was doing something wrong. I didn't know what to do. I kept taking out bookshelves, putting them back in, taking them out again, and actually I missed Silk Touch there and I went straight for efficiency. Ah, uh, I really should have got Silk Touch, but... I just didn't, I didn't see it. I went straight past it and got efficiency. And I was trying to get ones on books and I seen Featherfall in two. So I thought, you know, we'll make some diamond boots and keep Featherfall fall, falling for when we finally get some diamond boots made. So there we go, back into the mines again, just mining away. Yeah, this, this, I spent a lot of time mining. You forget, you know, a game called Minecraft. That you have to mine quite a bit. So you'd see here, I went into a cave and I was trying to get a load of iron because I needed to make an iron block to make an anvil so I could do me boots. So I was went into this cave and I was just a cobblestone bridging all over the place to find the iron that I needed. But I did. I got quite a bit of iron on this trip, actually, going into this um, sort of cave system. It was pretty nice. Going to the caves for iron is good, but for diamonds it is not so good. Because diamonds apparently don't spawn in open air anymore or something. So yeah, there was me just testing whether I could fix it with an iron pickaxe. Yeah, obviously not. And look who's back. Our little trade villager guy that noised the hell out of us. I don't know. Just leave me alone. Go away, will you please? I don't want to have to kill you again. I've already done it once. So yeah, we are just having a mind melt of trying to find where I put the um, enchanted book to put on our boots. But there we go, I put it in the valuables chest and it's just grabbing the diamonds as well in case we need them for something. I th figured free fall, feather falling is something we... Have I been calling it free falling this whole time? I think I have. Feather Fallen is something you really need for going into the nether and that is something we are going to be doing in days 68 to 80. So yes, I did decide it was time to go to the nether. So there we go, we've got the uh, obsidian. I tried to light it but then I realised there's a crying obsidian. I don't know what this is for. What is this for? I have no idea. Crying obsidian. But anyway, I removed that. Oh, look, the cutting onions. Ah, new recipe. I didn't realise that. I didn't even have a look at that new recipe. I totally forgot about it. 
But anyway, there we go into the nether. And I couldn't have gotten a worse nether to spawn into. Uh, apparently, this is pretty much the hardest place to to get around and do anything in. The basalt flats or something? Basalt something or other? But anyway, I tried digging behind the portal and there was nothing in sight. What I really wanted in the nether, I wanted to trade with a pigment to try and get a, a fortune a enchanted book. That's what I was hoping for and that's what I think can happen if you trade them some gold. So I'd made an iron... A, golden helmet to trade with these guys but there was none around so I was so confused and I had some gold on us as well to trade with them but uh, yeah I decided to get out of here and try go the other way from the pole so I went the other way and yes we did start spawning into the normal nether which well what I call the normal nether it, it's it's the most normal place I, I have not seen this whole new nether before is that a long time ago that this all changed to me the nether was just all netherrack and quartz that's how I remember the nether anyway but nonetheless I found one of the guys I think these are the ones I need to trade with so passed him some gold and Wait for it. He passed me a magma, magma cube ball or something. Fire charge. That's not what I wanted. And then crying obsidian. Uh, I was like, right, okay. It must be luck of the draw. We'll, we'll keep feeding him a bit of gold. No, I got absolutely nothing. So, yeah. That was a waste of a few days trying to go to the nether. I got some string. Very nice. Thank you. So then I decided to try and trade with a, a villager to get the level up and see if he offered us anything better because I could not um I could not get anywhere with that pigman, whatever he is. What is he what is he? He's not a zombie pigman, is he? He is something different. Like a hog or something. But anyway, I decided right, okay. Forget this trading stuff. I'm going to have to get a zombie to make this man ill and then cure him so I can trade with him. I think I think at this point I was, I was starting to go a bit insane with the mining stuff. So I just wanted to try some different things that I haven't done before. So I decided to kidnap this villager and um, try and make him my own personal... Liberian pet. So I took him out of, I, I took him in a boat all the way back to base, but then I couldn't figure out how to get him up the steps. So you, you'll, you'll see in a second what actually happens here. So we'll get all the way back to base after a very slow ride back there. And I just couldn't get him up here, so I dug out a little flat area for him. And I just kind of left him there and I thought, right, a zombie might attack him and I'll cure him. So let's go make a golden apple because that's what you need to cure him, isn't it? A golden apple. So I made one of them just in case on the off chance a zombie's going to attack him. So, you know, we'll just we'll just hope for the best. Uh, you just stay there, Mr. Villager. So then on another day, we went out on a pig on a sheep hunt because I wanted to make some carpets for my house. So... Did I say a pig hunt? I meant a sheep hunt. And we were also collecting some of these white flowers because I wanted to make some grey concrete to mix in with the white to give it a little bit of an accent on the house. And then we found some horses and I forgot how to tame them so I decided to just keep right clicking. And then I did something really bad and I just thought, do they drop anything? Do horses drop anything? And curiosity got the best of us. I, I'm so sorry. I, I felt really bad after doing this. Yeah, it's fair to say horses don't drop anything. But that was for science, right? I figured that out for science. So, yeah, let's move on and get past this point that I just killed a horse for no reason. 
tiny. But then it was more days of just creating concrete and I, I was trying my best to do offhand and dig at the same time here. It just, I just don't think I'm very good at games. Like Minecraft is a simple game. Surely I can be good at Minecraft. But that is just not the case here. I am terrible. But I make do. So yeah, we cracked on and we got it done. So yeah, the house is looking really good now and we wanted to add some finishing touches. So I wanted to put on a... What was I looking for? A clear ball? What was I doing with clay? <gasps> candles! That's what I was doing with clay. I thought candles... <laughs> For some reason, I thought in Minecraft, candles were made with clay, not wax, which is clearly not the case. So then I finally finished the swimming pool and noticed the ground looks really odd now. So we're going to have to extend that at some point once we've smelted some stone. But I wanted to add some doors and I figured I didn't want to just cut them off as two blocks high. I wanted them three blocks high like I originally planned. So... I decided to add some trap doors and figured that would look pretty good and blend in with the doors which I really like I think that looks pretty cool and then I wanted to add some some more detail to the side so I decided to put some stairs in rather than just having plain flat walls I've seen this on on one of the reference images I was looking at so I thought I'll just steal that idea that seems like a good idea to steal. So, yeah, we do, did that. And I think it did turn out pretty good. All thing considering my skill level at building and um, playing Minecraft in general, I, it did turn out pretty good. So, yeah, we did this repeated for all of the walls. And it also extends the interior a little bit because, as you can see... Um, all the blocks are sort of in one, so we've got these little extra spaces where um, I was uh, I put ended up putting me chests and crafting table and everything, which does look really nice, clean and tidy on the inside once it's all set up and done. And there we go, making some more stairs. For the accents. Yeah, I really do like the way this looks. And with the grey concrete now as well, it does it, it 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 doesn't all blend in as one as much. But anyway, then I decided I'd do the porch. Would you call it a porch or a drive or one of the two? And fill it up with a wall as well. A nice stone wall to blend in with the driveway. So we're just sticking it in the stone cutter. This is all new as well, the stone cutter stuff. It's I don't remember this. I'm just either I've got a really bad memory, which is probably the case, or I, I just haven't played it for that long. I didn't know what a stone cutter was <laughs> until I found out online. Wikipedia for the win. So yes, I found some soul stand sand as well in one of my rubbish chests so i decided we'd add some bubbles to the pool to make it a sort of jacuzzi outside front jacuzzi which i really like but then the half slabs kind of looked started looking odd so i had to remove them and i found out i missed a bit i actually left some gravel underneath the uh, some not gravel dirt so that needed to be changed and luckily we had three blocks left the stone brick look at that so then on the top layer of the house, I wanted to add a little bit of farm life. You know how you see them buildings where they've got the grass roofs and they've got like moss all over them and stuff. I really like that sort of style. So I wanted to do that. So above my bedroom, I have some water, which is dripping down onto my bed. That's always a nice thing. I have a nice soggy bed to go home to. But yeah, I really do like the way it once once it's grown, it'll look pretty sweet with the farm up here. Yeah, that'll be cool. I decided to add some glass here, but 
it didn't look right and I changed things up in a second anyway. So later on, I decided to add a little fireplace in my bedroom, which looked cool. But then the smoke accumulates on the roof, which does not look cool. So, yeah, I decided we're going to have to vent this chimney. And what better way to do it than make a little barbecue slash penthouse heater, outside heater thing. So... I thought we'd just give that a go, give it a try, and I realised I'm going to have to move my farm over a little bit and make it smaller so we don't flood the place. So there we go, we built our little barbecue slash, um, slash outdoor heater. I think it's more of an outdoor heater because I couldn't get the barbecue look to look good so we'll just call it an outdoor heater and i realized we do need some lighting up here and i wish i really wish lanterns could go on the side of the of the block and like hang down that would be cool but clearly not i do like the look of lanterns better than candles eh, not candles uh torches though so now was the time where i'm gonna have to shift all of my chest indoors and clean up the front especially for the thumbnail this was the plan so we get our chests and everything that's inside them and we'll put them in this nice little corner that we've got over here made thanks to putting the accent walls on so we'll just take all our valuables in here for a hundred days worth of minecraft we don't have a lot of valuables but i did waste a lot of time um not mining because i got fed up with mining as you can see, we did do a lot of mining, though. All the cobblestone and everything. So I've just chopped down some trees as well. Cleaning the place up. Oh, and I forgot about these little chickens I had to make pumpkin pie. Um, Let's just entirely forget about them. And pretend they weren't there. <laughs> so adding some trees around the front to match in with the the wood style of the house i wanted the same sort of trees around and yeah there we go this is our last night in our house look at this and i do say for 100 days we didn't do that much this video has gone on for quite a long time now though but uh for 100 days we didn't do that much but how beautiful does this look the sunset on the mountains side the tree, the banner of our memories. I'll just walk around the house here to show you the, the different accents on the walls. The lanterns hanging down. Our little farm that's going on. And then our house here where all our tools... I didn't finish the carpet. I'm sorry. I do apologise. I ran out of time. I ran out of time. This took a long time to record and to edit I've literally got like, I think it's about 10 hours worth of footage, which is about 95 gigabytes worth of recordings. Yeah, it is a bit crazy. I thought we'd have one last look at getting an enchanting for Fortune, but it wasn't the case. And look how, I like this little wall full of tools here. I didn't realize how cool this would be. So I thought we'd just give it one last try getting a fortune on this pickaxe so we'll just disenchant it because we're pretty much done with this world anyway disenchant it and see if we'll get it oh actually wait what did i just say fortune then i i really i just missed it oh my god i missed it again Why am I only just realising this now when I'm editing that I'd missed fortune? That is terrible. Let's throw a steak on the barbie anyway. And close that up. There's our cows over there. Our little lava pit giving off some light. And the village off in the distance as well. This game is beautiful with shaders. But anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see some more Minecraft, I know I'm not really a Minecraft channel... But if you want to see some more, let me know down below and I will 
kindly do so. So let's get ourselves to bed for our last night on this world and say goodbye. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.